This is the all-new Community Connection. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. Well, the children of the special school district now have an opportunity to learn very important skills in the workplace. The Accent program that is provided for them gives them an opportunity to get some real-life work experience. I'm joined today by Kim Gettemeyer and Casey Wisdom of the Special School District, along with Erica Hughes with the Accent Group. Hello to you all. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I know, right? Well, how exciting is this? Let's start with the school district. Casey, tell me a little bit more about the special school district and why you all thought about this opportunity to give the children some real-life work experience. Sure. Well, we have, as a district, been providing students with the opportunity to learn work-based skills in a variety of employment settings for close to 35 years. Um, So it's been a long tradition uh, for our school district. Um, However, we've been... um, pretty much in in many of the same fields for a long time. So a lot of our work has been done in the healthcare industry, Mm -hmm. and we've been looking the last couple of years at opportunities to move into new industry areas. And so that's one of the uh, wonderful things that Accent has been able to bring to us for the first time, really, is doing some work in a different setting, in more of a manufacturing and distribution setting. Mm -hmm. I love that. We'll find out more about that from Erica here shortly. Uh, Tell me more about the special school district? Uh, We are located in St. Louis County, and so Special School District is its own school district. So we we have our own tax base, which is the entire St. Louis County, and what that allows us to do is provide all of the special education services for St. Louis County. So we have our own buildings that focus on special education as well as career and technical education, and in addition to that, we provide all of the special education services in the 22 partner school districts in St. Louis County. Oh, wow. So you serve the greater, um, the greater region in addition to the, the zip codes and county you serve. Correct. So in, in any given year, we serve approximately 22,000 students Whoa. who have some sort of disability. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Different ability. So, yes. Kim, can you talk a little bit more about the families you serve? Yes, absolutely. So when these students have um, meetings um, each year to discuss their individual education needs, the the concept of um, where are you headed, what are your life, what are your career goals, what are your future goals comes up, and if we have students who um, are interested in competitive employment but they have some disabilities that are. Um, presenting barriers from that at the end of a typical traditional 12-year high school program, then this this opportunity arises where um, they can come to a business in the community, and we're super excited to be here at Accent. And the, the majority of their day is actually spent working, um, doing the same jobs that other employees here do each day mm-hmm. um, with job coaches available. Pretty cool. Then we have a little, yeah, it's great. It's great. So they're working alongside um, individuals without disabilities, and then we're providing some supports to help them be successful and hopefully learn to do those skills independently. Very nice. So, Erica, talk about how accent comes into the picture. Okay. Um, so, yes, this is Erica, and our son, our oldest son, Jason, and I have three children. Our oldest son turned 18 yesterday, and he's been receiving services through Special School District for the past 15 years. Um, He has a rare brain abnormality, and upon looking at um, going to different meetings and saying what is available, transitioning, thinking, and he is going to be 21, which that is when you age out of the Special School District programming, We stumbled upon a meeting where they talked about these vocational training opportunities, and my husband and I immediately thought of our work and how our work could provide a great uh, atmosphere for these kiddos and families to learn um, both job skills and soft training skills in a great environment. Um, So being located right in Crestwood, we immediately did an outreach with Kirkwood and Lindbergh and uh, their existing programs, and they came for the site reviews and multiple meetings, and we set up the program here. Super cool. Now, did I hear you guys say you're there now? 
We, yes, we're at Accent right now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about what a family would see and experience when they come in the doors. So when they come in the door, uh, it was quite emotional. We're serving two programs right now at Accent. So vocational skill programs has seven students. And when we got the deal signed, sealed, and delivered, we um, set up an open house with SSD, and they contacted all the families. So they came for a tour so that the families uh, could feel comfortable on where they were going to start their training uh, the following school year. Uh, And so I think it was planned for a half hour, and I think about two and a half hours later, everyone started to mosey (laughs) out the door. Uh, We just had a a great time, great experience, and uh, super excited seeing the families and meeting the students. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's speak a little bit more about what this does for a student in the special school district. What I I understand the soft skills and the training, but it goes beyond that. This is Casey. It does go beyond that. When we are supporting students in our vocational skills program, we are looking at that employment piece and how ready we can get them um, for work when they are done. We're also, a critical part of it is connecting them with the appropriate agencies that are going to support these students as adults both in the world of work as well as their own independent living needs and desires. Mm -hmm. So we are really trying to look at uh, that transition to adulthood holistically and help not just the student but the family start to to deal with the fact that they're about to enter the adult world Mm -hmm. and trying to make that as smooth for them as possible. Well, I can imagine a big part of that is that whole independence piece. You know, parents don't want to... I mean, it's tough enough just saying goodbye and allowing them to enter into the world on their own, the great beyond on their own. But to be certain that they're that they're prepared and that they would be able to care for themselves and live independently, I'm sure is a big hurdle to overcome. Right. And this is this is Kim here. Um, Another part of our day, we certainly spend the bulk of it working specifically learning the steps of the jobs that are here and hopefully would be similar jobs in other places. But we also spend time working on independent living skills nice. through kind of a curriculum. So we might walk to shop and save um, up the street here where we can practice some pedestrian safety. There you go. We can work on social skills by asking questions to the employees of the store. We can work on budgeting in a real life setting and I think that that probably helps parents feel um, like they're getting a more meaningful experience. Well, but, I can see the value okay. of that for the parents for sure, but then you've got the the student then who it's not a brand new scenario that could potentially overwhelm and intimidate mm-hmm. them if they run yeah. into it later on. It's already a challenge. You know, they're right, working that's through exactly the idea. Yeah, they're already working through the existing challenges of of working with their their abilities and then to you know i i often wonder what if you can't anticipate something but the more you're able look at that great role play and walk through by actually going to the store and review some mm-hmm. questions that can save them uh a whole lot of anguish but certainly can create even greater opportunities through their confidence i'm really excited that you do that yeah we're excited to do that as well Very and cool. it's fun to watch it's fun to watch them become more comfortable as we repeat some of those activities yeah because yeah, then they're getting more proficient and they're i i got this <laughs> exactly. well, well, why don't you share a couple of uh, success stories uh, that of students that have come through the program that you've been really inspired by well, actually, this is our very first oh, year okay. here at Accent, mm-hmm. but I do know that there are plenty of opportunities um, for our students to move forward, and some of them are actually fortunate to be hired by the company that the that special district was partnering with, um, and then through some of the outside agencies, I know a lot of our students end up... Um, getting some support beyond this program through adult agencies and finding that competitive employment that was certainly the goal. Mm -hmm. And I think um, even thinking of some of your meetings you've had and stepped out of just from a short-term perspective Mm -hmm. of success would be the fact that um, these students and professionals and teachers have been here since August and you've had a couple of families say transitions are typically hard for anyone Mm -hmm. and then when you layer special needs on top of it, it becomes even more exacerbated. And I think you've had success where parents have said, wow, 
Tommy's really comfortable, Johnny's really comfortable, and this is a really good fit for him. Is mm-hmm. that a correct statement? That is absolutely true, yes. Right. We've we've really enjoyed, um, I think they've had some opportunities that they haven't had before, and I think the, the folks here at Accent, not just Jason and Erica, but really the whole staff just sort of has a... Um, have a, a really accepting perspective, and they're just welcoming and work with us extremely well. Yeah, yeah. And, well, that, and that translates to happy parents. Well, you know <laughs> right. what? What kid doesn't want that? You know, they're constantly, right, right. And, and I don't care what condition they're in. The heart of a kid is, hey, I can do it, and do and right. to actually become independent. So it's a, right. it's a total win-win, and I expect that there'll be great they success uh, with your work through the Accent Group. And, and kudos to you, Erica, and your husband for stepping up in this yes. way. Mm-hmm. How's your little boy doing now? Oh, he's awesome. He just turned 18 okay. yesterday. Then, yep. Yeah, I can't call him a little boy anymore, can I? <laughs> yeah, well, we still do. Yeah, little boy right. at heart. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Yep. But, exactly. Um, what might he say about the, his experience? Gary is nonverbal, so he does okay. a lot of great smiles and hair pulls and <laughs> is just a, a sweet, sweetheart. Yeah. He's still expressing and letting you know how, oh, how yes. happy and, he is. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, yes. And, um, you know, God's an amazing networker. One of the seven students uh, had been on bus with Gary for seven, eight years um, at Kirkwood. So when Jason came in, I'm like, Jaybird, I did not know you were part of this. And and so he immediately oh starts typing on his phone, how's Gary? How are things going? Because so Jason cool. is also a nonverbal student. Um and it's just, it's a mm-hmm. very super cool program. And yeah. the, the big, uh, one of the big things I see is the growth of our own employees embracing this program. And we had one, one sweet, 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 um, employee made, um, quilted seven full size quilts for our students to tell them thank you and uh, congratulate them on their first year of service and they've been here for two months. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's super. This is really great news. So who's eligible for the program and who would we send this invitation to? So this is Casey. So students are eligible through the program, through decisions made by their educational team. Mm-hmm. So when they are still in high school, as they're approaching that final year of high school, the teams will start talking about what is the next step for students. And for some individual students, the next step is to come into the vocational skills program. And so those are really team-based decisions made uh, while the students are still in high school. So we would encourage those teams that are supporting students to think about the, the employment piece and what kinds of needs the students might have and how our program might be able to support those needs. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about older children uh, that would be in the upper grades at this point. So the vocational skills program is for students who are between the ages of 18 and 21. Mm -hmm. So they've typically finished their four years of high school. Right. um, And it's been decided that they're going to continue for a little while longer in order to receive some some work skills. Sure, sure. Are you looking Mm -hmm. to expand the program? Always. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Always. uh What do you, what would, okay, so what would the the organizations, the companies, the businesses that uh, would employ the students, what are you looking for in in a great match? Um, we're looking for someone who is willing to just open up a lot of different training opportunities for us um, that have some variety in the skill sets so we can try to meet students' interests as well as their needs. Um, we're looking for, as Erica and Kim both mentioned, just that atmosphere where folks are going to be supportive and accepting of the students and willing to give a little bit of their time to uh, to train them. Uh, and so really that those are the things that that we're looking for. Sure. Right. And I I can honestly say that we stumbled upon it through our personal experience. So that's why we were excited to do this interview because organic growth is the necessary component to keep this program growing and thriving. Mm -hmm. So we're hopeful that many other companies hear about it and um, get working with Ann Carroll to set up their company to be a sponsor. Absolutely. So Ann Carroll would be their contact. What can we do in the community to help forward and further the program? That's a big question. Um, what do you I need would from say, us? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we need people who are willing to be open 
uh, to learning about uh, folks with various abilities uh, who might work in a little bit of a different way and be willing to sort of open their doors and let us come in and show them what a wonderful experience it can be having students um, like ours in in their places of business. I think we've Erica mentioned it and we've seen it before. Not only do our students benefit, but typically the the business benefits as well. For sure. <laughs> now there's 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 generally and what I've come to find is that generally there is a willingness. What we end up is end up with is a a lack of knowledge of how to best approach, navigate, and support. So are there any maybe um, best practices or things to help that willingness actually transfer into an effective partnership? Like how can we work better um, once we're willing? What's something that we could do, a tip that you can give us to make it great? Hmm. I think um, the great chemistry we have here is um, Kim Kim and her two uh, assistants, they really are the hands-on with the children, uh, the students. And so when when we when they need something, we know that they need something because they have three adults helping these students. Um, and I think where the partnership comes in is they can sense when we're super, super busy where they need to go and where they need to start training or picking up or um, doing miscellaneous things uh, for accent and for learning these job-based mm-hmm. skills. Um, but I, I think it's the flexibility is, is a big component sure. of the partnership. Sure. And the great and the great aspect of us as a team in this partnership that's all that's great what were you going to say kim oh i was just yes this is kim i was just going to add to that i think just um just having open relationships is probably the, the life skill takeaway here um communicating what we need and um, and trusting that they will communicate what they need from us. Or if it's a day that, you know what, we need to step back and get out of the way a little bit because there's something really big going on in the warehouse that's um, a little overwhelming, um, that, that might be a good day to do a community outing or that might be a good day to focus on some classroom practice. Mm-hmm. So um, I think just relationships and being open to um, what the other party needs is really the most important piece for us here. Yeah, it is. Well, awesome. I am glad you all were here and able to take time to share about this great program and the good news of uh, what's available to our students as well as our businesses and the uh, families of students in the special school district. Uh, Go ahead and send out how we can, the information on how we can get in touch with you and connect with the program where folks can come along. Well, I will, I will give my contact information. I'm probably the best person. This is Casey Wisdom. I supervise all of our vocational skills program sites and typically help with that business connection. So yes, um, folks can certainly feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my phone number is 314-989-8399. Or my email is cwisdom at ssdmo.org. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you both, Kim Gettemeyer and Casey Wisdom. What a great name for education with the special school district and Erica Hughes with the Accent Group. Thank you all and success to you in this endeavor. Thank Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, ladies. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to include in the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 314-333-8369, 314-333-8369. And for more information about our show or any of our guests, you can visit us online and listen to the podcast at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search Community Connection with Jade Harrell. You all be blessed. Do blessed. And take care.